not sure about this. No, oh, it'll be fine. <laughs> Stop that or you're out. <laughs> Hey. Hey. Oh. Hey. Hi. Wow. Hi. Hi. Yeah, all right. Do you know, I really wasn't sure about this whole school reunion idea. I know, me neither, but it's quite good, isn't it, really? Yeah, it's yeah, great. Hey, great. were you in Putter and Nutter's geography group? Oh, no, 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 we had Edwards, old Spoonhead. Oh. <laughs> well, did you have Jekyll for chemistry? Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, remember him? If just tubes were toys, if they'd be sold in toy shops. Who remembers old Codger Cadigan? Uh, yeah. No, I don't remember him. No. Old bloke took us for games. Um. No, I didn't no. have him. You remember me and Eddie Green hit him on the head with a baseball bat in Hampshire Woods. <laughs> I wanted to tell the police, but the others threatened me, so we chopped up the body and burnt it. <laughs> Cadogan? St Roderick's comprehensive. This is Woodborough High. Oh, not again. <laughs> Have you got it? Yeah. Let me see. And this is real leather, yeah? Yep. That's <laughs> right. Great, and keep all my pens and stuff in there. That's right. That's great. Thanks very much. Well, they're a great crowd, so uh, don't be nervous. I know it's your first night, but just get out there and let's see what you can do. Right. <laughs> what are you doing? This is a strip club. You're supposed to be lap dancing. Oh, I thought you said tap dancing. <laughs> don't worry, I'll work it in. <laughs> Which bit of this don't you understand? You're supposed to dance and take your clothes off. Yeah, I know, but my routine's got a narrative. I need the audience to see me as a storyteller. Yeah, and I need the audience to see your mamas and papas. <laughs> but the story's very important. What bloody story? I'll show you. There's a girl, and she runs for miles and miles, and she sees some people, and she waves! Oh, and she smiles! Yes, she smiles! Right, and then she jumps on a table, gets her knickers, waves them in the air, takes a bra off, gets paid 40 quid and goes home. That's the story, start bloody telling it. <laughs> Tells a story. <laughs> Leave it, Dad. They're not interested. <laughs> right. Who threw that? <laughs> On your arm, you are healed. Go forth. I lay my hand on your head. You are healed. Go forth. What's wrong with you? Hemorrhoids. Go forth. <laughs> God, this arm's a bit tough. Well, maybe the knife needs sharpening. I've just sharpened it. All right. Well, the meat should be fresh. I just bought it today. Here, here. let me have a go. No, sorry, but I can do it. It's the man's job, and I'm the man. All right, I'll make the salad. Um, oh, I'll do that. Right, I'll have a go at the hand. Leave it, please, darling. I haven't finished trying it. <laughs> oh, that's pretty tough. Let me have another crack at the ham. <laughs> I'm going to move this off here because it's in the way. Oh, come on, that's actually a bit heavy. I've got that. <laughs> Don't touch the ham on the jar. <laughs> that is pretty heavy. <laughs> Oh, that's like concrete. I hope he's not given in either. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Tim, please don't feel you have to do these things just to prove yourself to me. You say I'm weak? Of course I'm not. Oh, God, there's that fly again. I'll do that. Damn. Come on. Hello, you two. How are the party preparations going? Uh, we're a bit behind, to be honest. We're fine, thanks, Lee. Well, if there's anything I can do, anything at all, you just let me know, because I am here to help. <laughs> Well, if you've just tuned in, welcome to Mercury 98.8 FM, the number one welcome station for football. Welcome to Platinum Sport 98.9 FM, the, the number one station for football in the Northwest. I'll tell you who's been absolutely unbelievable today. The new United I'll signing. I'll tell you who's been Gary absolutely Greystone. unbelievable today. The new the United signing, Gary, the governor, as we at Mercury Greystone, as we at Platinum of Christendom. <laughs> I've always said the stupendous man from Gateshead could be the new Paul Gascoigne. He's Gascoin. stupendous, and I've always said that, this man, Gary, the Gateshead. <laughs> Gascoigne, governor, Greystone. And with the clock saying seven minutes to go. Only seven minutes left on the clock. Sorry, five. But that includes injury time. <laughs> Bennett keeping the ball on his feet like it's stuck oh, to them with Bennett glue. keeping the ball like he's stuck his feet together with glue. And he only paid three million for him. I can't believe it. I can't believe he only cost United three million. Sorry, four million. Plus fat. <laughs> oh, long ball to Wilkins. Oh, that long ball was sublime. To Wilkins. Oh, it's sublime. Yes. Slipping it through like a steak and kidney pudding through water. It's like watching someone slip a steak and kidney pudding through water. This. And Harris running as fast as a camel made of chocolate. Look at him go. Like a chocolate camel. <laughs> like a greasy cockatoo. Like a greasy cockatoo flies the chocolate camel. Dog skittles. And he's making the Rovers' defence look like dog skittles as Greystone. Gladulates. Gladulates round the left back. Marmite monkey. He's only got the Marmite monkey to beat and he gladulates round in two. Fluffity chop nobble. He scored! The chocolate camel has scored! He slipped it through the dog skittles like a steak and kidney pudding through water. He gladulated around the Marmite monkey like a greasy cockatoo. And that really is absolutely fluffity chuff nubbles. <laughs> Join us again soon on the number one station for football. Mercury FM. Mercury Platinum FM. <laughs> Hello. Hello, would you like to buy some double glazing? This is the Samaritans. All right, would you like to buy some double glazing or I'll kill myself? Can I have a cup of tea? What are the magic words? Get it! <laughs> That's better. Well, it's no surprise to see that Rene Coutane is leading the pack here today. We're going to try and have a few words with Rene. He doesn't actually speak a word of English, but we're very lucky now to be joined by our interpreter, Kitty Flanagan. Hello there, Kitty. Hey! Kitty, can you ask Rene how it felt to win the first leg in his hometown and how does he feel this stage is going? Bonjour, René. Comment est-ce que vous vous sentez après avoir gagné la dernière étape du tour? Can you ask him to slow down a bit, please? Can you slow down a bit, mate? How do I say slow down in French? What? Oh. How do I ask him to slow down? Oh, just say, look, she can't keep up, she's not fit, so no, please... No, in French. You... How do I say slow down in French? Oh, sorry, I'm... Uh, ralentisse, s'il vous plaît. Ralentisse, s'il vous plaît. Ralentisse, s'il vous plaît. René, ralentisse, s'il vous plaît. Ralentisse, quoi? Allez, allez. Oh, God. <laughs> look, love, love. This isn't going to work. I can't understand a word he's saying. I need you up there to ask him about winning the last stage. Oh, I actually asked him that earlier, and he said he's really happy. He's just taking it one stage at a time. He'd like to thank his family 
And please, can I stop now? No, you're going to have to catch up. <laughs> what, what about we talk to this bloke? He's Spanish. That's all right. Je suis parle espagnol. No, you don't. <laughs> yeah, I do. Look. Uh, hola, senor. No me moleste, necesito concentrarme, vamos. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, he says uh, he's very happy to be interviewed <laughs> and he has some very interesting and amusing stories No, he didn't. Tell. Just do your job and catch up. I'll try and slow him down. Uh, ah, eh, uh, René, bonjour. Mais qu'est-ce que tu fais? Yeah, uh, le petit poisson est sur le table. <laughs> 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 Since I won the lottery, one house isn't enough, one car isn't enough. I've got two wives and I want a third, and the problem's getting worse. Hmm. How, How do, do you feel, feel about that? that? <laughs> no, car's miles away. Come on, let's run. Oh, no, no. They say you get just as wet running as if you walk. That's ridiculous. No, it's true. I read it somewhere. All right, you walk, I'll run, and we'll see who gets the wettest. OK. Ready? Go! Go. not going to go. Do you mind if we put it through the window? Yeah, okay, good idea. Lily, <laughs> 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 I want to turn. Oh, come on, Kitty, it's for kids. No, I want to turn on the ride. Money and put the money in. about time we told Simon he's adopted. He's not, though. No, I know. I'll think of his face. It'll be a right laugh. <laughs> Before I examine you, Miss Flanagan, would you mind if, for training purposes, there are a few students in attendance? No, that's OK. 
Thank you, we appreciate that. If you'd like to undress... <laughs> Photography students. So, uh, is it true what I heard, that you, um... Yes, it is, yeah. That you lost one of your, um... Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. It's private. Sure, sure. But how did it, uh, actually... It was an accident with a hedge trimmer? <laughs> I've lost a testicle. I don't want to talk about it. Fine. No more to be said about it. Yeah. So how are you? You been doing much fishing recently? No, unfortunately, I lost half my tackle. <laughs> Referring to your, uh... It's all right, forget it. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't taking the mickey. I... Look, can we change the subject? Sure, sure, yeah. <laughs> How's your son getting all these exams? Oh, yeah, very good. He's only got one test left. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I didn't actually mean that, you know... I... Yeah, it's OK, forget it. Right, right. How's your youngest? Oh, he's a real one-off. <laughs> I wasn't... Is he still into Thomas the Tank Engine? Oh, no, 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 no. It's Wombles now. Wombles this, Wombles that. Remember, you're a... <laughs> Wombles. <laughs> Look, should I just put some music on? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> when to become one. Forget that. Um, why don't we go to the pub? You're not too knackered, are you? <laughs> oh, I don't mean you're not... I don't mean you're not too... Will you please let it drop? You did that one, not me. <laughs> I'm going out. I'm gone. I'm coming with you. You won't hear another peep out of me. No more mention of the incident. Right. Now then, where's my phone? <laughs> Mayday! Mayday! I need to speak to the Coast Guard urgently. Can you hear me, Coast Guard? Over. Mayday, I'm calling on Channel 17. Are you receiving me, Coast Guard? This is urgent. Repeat, urgent. This is the Coast Guard broadcast. This is my Channel 17 posse. Say hello, guys. Yeah. <laughs> you crazy bunch of nutcases. Well, Coast Guard, this is urgent. We're having a good time here, aren't we, guys? <laughs> oh, that's right. They're bonkers. Coming up later on this frequency, we've got our mystery voice competition. Help! Somebody please help me. I'm drowning. Who's that? Call it if you know. <laughs> and at 11, we'll be chatting to Sue Pollard, who's in panto. Please listen to me. Just a minute, love. Sue's in panto in Worthing with Gary Wilmot and Pingu. Clapton for me, Mum. Coming up. What happened to you? Domestic violence? No, my dad's a panda. Buddy, alrighty. Before you can cross this bridge, you must answer me these questions three. What the hell's this? Uh, 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 I'm asking the questions. I'm the troll, and I'm in charge of this bridge. You're in charge of the bridge since when? Look, it's an old troll tradition. Goes back to fairy tale days. Now, let's get on with the questions. You ready? Is that the question? No, you're trying to be smart. Is that the question? Oi! This is the question. If you bought seven apples at 50 pence each and you gave the woman ten pounds, how much change would you get? Six pound fifty. Question two. How much money is this? Two pound eighty. Question three. Can you give me a lift? Yeah, where are you going? Fruit market. Sort out the bitch that shortchanged me. <laughs> Well, madam, because of your low self-esteem, I have just the product for you. It's this new confidence-boosting chair. Why not sit down and try it? Feel better? Yes. Do you want to buy it? No. I'm never going to sell any of these. Yes, I am. <laughs> never enter the cave of the tiger. When, when you, you want, want to steal his cub. Before we commence combat, we must first learn honour and humility. 
peace, strength and freedom. Let us begin with a demonstration of Eastern skill. You. Me. Yes, you. Step forward, please. He who steps forward dies first. <laughs> Come here, please. Beware the one who beckons. I'm trying to do a martial arts demonstration. One who shows off is nothing more than a fool. Well, you're all here to learn to fight, aren't you? Better sharpen your wit than sharpen your spear. Don't you want to get your money's worth? Money is no measure of happiness. Then you're all stupid. Rage is the enemy of wisdom. God, this is a nightmare. Conquer your nightmares by listening to your dreams. Shut up! The softer you tread, the further you will go. I don't need this. <laughs> 